Hi, this is the Daily News of Remo TV. Hi, I'm Oliver Jeremiah. First, the national news. The Senate at a special plenary Monday passed the 2021 budget totaling 13.5 trillion naira. The fiscal document is predicated on an high benchmark $40 per barrel, 3.324 trillion naira for debt servicing, 4.1 trillion naira for capital expenditure, 5.6 trillion naira for recurrent, 496 billion naira for statutory transfer, that's an increment of 505 billion naira. President Major General Muhammad Buhari presented 13.0 82 trillion naira to the National Assembly on October 8. Also, the House of Representatives passed 13.6 trillion naira 2021 budget on Monday in Abuja. The passage followed the adoption of a report by the House Committee on Appropriation led by Chairman Rep. Aliyu Batara, APC Borno, at the Committee of Supply. He said the bill is to authorize the issue from the Consolidated Revenue Fund of the Federation, the sum of 13 trillion, 588 billion, 27 million, 888,000. 175 now, of which 496.5 billion is for statutory transfer. Governor Yahaya Bello says he does not want to be distracted by calls for him to contest in the forthcoming 2023 presidential election, but he is focused on delivering his mandate of the rebuilding Kogi state. The governor said his administration ability to curb insecurity in the Kogi state and massive youth empowerment has been attracting support leading to the calls for him to join the 2023 presidential race. He called he does not want to be distracted with. On international news, India said on Monday it was joining other countries in temporary suspending all flight from Britain after the emergence of a new and more infectious strain of coronavirus there. Considering the prevailing situation in UK, the government of India has decided that all flights originating from UK to India to be suspended till 31st December 2020, the aviation ministry said in a tweet. He said the suspension would come into effect from 11.59 pm on Tuesday. In a measure of abundant precaution, it had passengers arriving from Britain on transit flight will be subject to a mandatory ROT PCR test on arrival. And on sport, Ronaldo Maran was among the sack as a coach of relegation threatened Syria Hack. Of January after four months in the job, the Northwest Port side fell to the eighth defeat of the season against promoted Benebeto over the weekend. General CFC announces that they have relieved coach Ronaldo Maran from his post. The club thanks the coach and his staff for their commitment, the team said a statement. After Chivo and Cagliari boss, Maran was appointed in August after the team secured top flight survivor with a 17th place finish. But 50 year old had a complicated start when more than 20 members of the squad were affected by COVID-19. They won their season opener 4-1 against promoted Crotone on September 20 but have not won since uh, and now second last in the table with 7 points from 13 games. On entertainment, veteran Hollywood actor Muiwa Adebola is seriously ill and has been hospitalized. Take it to Instagram to make the status of his health known, but 9-year-old filmmaker shared photos of him on hospital bed. The caption, never posted anything like this before but this is necessary, especially because of the numerous commitments I heard. His friends, fans and colleagues have since taken to his comment section to drop some positive messages for him. And that's all on daily news on Remo TV. For more news, check us up on our social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube at Official Remo TV. This is our website at www.remotv.com.ng. I am Oli Jeremiah. Bye for now.